Warning, do not try to attempt this to your own controller. You might actually damage the insides, lose pieces, or accidentally do something to the casing and buttons of your controller. If anything does give damage to you, I am not responsible for any damages to your controller since you've been warned about it. But if you are really wanting to do this and are desperately wanting to do this, proceed with caution, do it outside where everything can be ventilated out, and have a parent or guardian who is into this kind of stuff with you. Anyways, enjoy the video, and thank you all so much for 48,000 subscribers. Okay, I know this intro is getting old, but I'm gonna update it soon. I promise. If some of you haven't seen my Twitter, I posted a tweet on May the 19th of 2018 that says, I'm gonna be doing my first ever case mod. It's gonna be themed after my channel's aesthetic, with the casing being light blue, the D-pad and the L button be red, and the buttons on the right be green. Can't wait to see how it goes. Wish me luck. I wanted to actually make a video about me doing this because it, it just seems like an interesting topic that I wanted to talk about on my channel. So what you're about to see in this video is the actual experience of me making this controller. Alright, so I got the controller all disassembled here. I'm just gonna pour it out of the bag here so I can show you all. What I'm planning on doing is I'm having this main case here be light blue, which is the main color for my channel. I'm planning on having this D-pad here, of course, be a red color for the D and have the XYBA buttons here be green. Alright, so a little fun fact about the XYBA buttons. I actually plan on not painting those and just leaving them the way they are because I was afraid about something happening or them not sliding into the actual case itself. I was afraid something was gonna go wrong. But in the end, I ended up doing them anyways. And another thing about the green spray paint is that it wasn't as smooth as the blue or the red spray paint. In fact, I accidentally got myself some textured spray paint, which also kind of benefited in the end because I got myself a stronger grip from the buttons. So I guess that was a plus or either a minus because it was an accident. But who knows? Anyways, on with the video. I sadly can't color the ZL and ZR buttons or the left trigger and right trigger buttons on here because they are basically hardwired into the actual board itself, but we might see what we could do with that. I might just leave those be, but what I did is I was able to remove the regular main L and R buttons here, so I'm going to obviously paint one of them red and one of them green. And that's the same that goes for the start and select buttons here, which I do have here. So this is going to be a pretty difficult task. but in the end, I bet this is going to be very, very worth it because I get to have my own custom dance gaming theme controller. So let's see how it goes. Alright, this is the first time I get to film a video outside, which is interesting. So we have the pieces that we're going to be spray painting light blue on these curtain rods. Now to those who hasn't been really into spray painting, Sevi might be asking why I'm putting them up on curtain rods. The curtain rods that we use here are used as a stand in order to spray paint everything, so when everything gets done, nothing gets sticked onto the actual board or the bags that we're using for this project. It's best to actually get yourself a couple curtain rods and then place the cases onto the curtain rods so you can play it safe instead of just going and spray painting everything. This kind of spray painting stuff is a bit complicated. And another reason why I put these cases on curtain rods is because this is also going to help evenly paint everything and have everything all covered so that there's no spots of the original black or very, very dark blue uh, casing color. So that's pretty interesting. I also laid out all the buttons that are going to be spray painted red or green, have one side be red and the other side be green to match with the D, uh, the D and the T in my logo. So that's going to be cool. Okay, I'm sorry for pausing again, but I wanted to say that if you're going for a pattern for your controller, I'd suggest you actually do the method I did here and lay out all of the buttons in order from when you want to spray paint them. It's best to actually get everything done and out of the way before you go on to the more important parts. A method of knowing which is which is to actually take a picture of the controller itself or record footage of you disassembling the controller. Trust me, it'll make things a lot easier if you're going to be reassembling everything back or organizing things. But yeah, honestly, I have a feeling that this project is going to turn out amazing. This is the first time I ever did one of these kind of projects. But yeah, honestly, I have a feeling that this is actually going to turn out amazing. This is going to be the first time I ever did one of these kind of case projects. And this is kind of perfect for the channel. So let's just see how it goes. And also, if anything even messes up, I don't really have to worry. These controllers are like $20. They're the Logitech F310, which is what it says right here on the label. If you can read that. Yeah, it says right there, Logitech Gamepad F310. 
Uh, they're about like $20 at Walmart, and they're really, really good controllers. I've tried them on my computer. And if Nintendo does update the Switch and allows access to any kind of USB controller, I would love to use this controller on my Nintendo Switch because these are USB controllers. I would love to be able to use this custom controller that I'm going to be working on for my Nintendo Switch. That would be awesome. So yeah, let's just see how it goes. So there's a couple of things I really wanted to bring up about this project. First of all, I had to have one of my parents help me with the project because I'm a very uneven person and it's impossible for me to spray paint evenly. God, that actually turned out well. That's awesome. <laughs> And another thing is the buttons that I wanted to spray paint red and green, they actually do fly off at times with the pressure of the spray paint. So consider that a technical difficulty and we should have probably used sticky tape or some sticky material or sticky paper to place onto the floor in order for it to be in place. But still, it turned out great in the end. All right, so I haven't touched the controller yet. Actually, I haven't even turned it around. I, I basically just fixed everything up from behind. So let's see how it turns out in three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> that actually turned out really well. Um, of course this is a little bit loose, but I could fix that later on. But oh my God, everything's all nice. Everything feels just, everything feels amazing. Including the L and R buds. I really like that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give this a little test to see if it actually truly works because I feel like the spray paint thing might have actually done something with it. Note that what I just said there might actually happen to your controller if you're going to be spray painting the insides as well, which I didn't do here since it's going to be pointless. Completely spray painting the inside could actually damage the circuits inside of the controller, not to mention it might actually interfere when trying to play a game with the controller. So I'm going to go and set up a game that I can control using this and we'll test it out. Alright, so what I have up on the screen is Super Mario Brothers Power Star Frenzy. So let's see if it works in three, two, one. <sighs> it works. Uh, I mean, that's already kind of expected, but yeah, this thing actually works pretty well. Uh, I guess you can say this is a straight up review of the Logitech F310, uh, the customized one, but honestly, this controller is really, really nice. It's so responsive, it's so quick and snappy, and it really does actually feel like a really good controller. It feels like a $50 controller for just $20. I'm actually doing really good at this game with just this controller alone. Oh, okay, I'm gonna add that here. That, that was actually really good, not gonna lie. And because Power Star Frenzy also allows controllers, um, they actually mapped out all the controls for this controller alone. And if you don't believe me, if I press this right button here, oddly enough, this is one of the accidental green texture ones that had that texture to it. Anyway, so if I press it, I sp it spins. That is awesome. Like, seriously, I cannot describe how much I love this controller. And now the fact that I modified it to make it actually themed after my channel it makes it even more better, honestly. I know that there is a program on Nintendo Wii U's Homebrew that allows you to basically control your entire console using a different controller that isn't even supported, like for example this controller. So I might actually put that to good use later on in life, like for example if I'm going to be talking about Super Mario Maker or going to be talking about something else Wii U related, I can go to this controller. And like I said previously, if the Nintendo Switch does allow access to any kind of USB controller, I would definitely love to use this controller in my future videos. I cannot describe how much I love the smoothness of this controller. This is seriously such a smooth controller. It may look like I'm just showing off, but I'm just... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It may look like I'm just showing off, but there we go. There's an example of me not showing off. <laughs> but I know, honestly, that's how amazing this controller is. Oh, I already spawned at the start. Huh. I guess that could actually be a really good method for speedrunning this game. I might actually do that. There you go! <laughs> I guess doing this video actually gave me a good idea for another video. Speedrunning Super Mario Brothers Power Star Frenzy. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other suggestions for what you want me to talk about next, and if you have any fan that wants to submit to me, you can submit them all via Twitter, Discord, comment section below, my message board, or in the community tab via the hashtag, hashtag DLC Super Show. And if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, and hit the subscribe button, and the notification button to be notified whenever I upload a video. Anyways, 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.